Hello viewers, good evening. This is Sanjay Thapa once again from Team Dimapur 24-7 and I welcome you all to our live motivational talk show. As I promised you last time that we are going to bring the real superheroes from our society. We have one with us today that is Mr. Jenpo Rongmai. Let, let me welcome him first. Welcome sir. Thank you. And thank you. thank you a lot for giving us your time. Uh, let me introduce him. He is the founder and chief functionary of Can Youth Organization. I am sure most of you have heard about it. And he is also the information secretary of Nagaland Alliance for Children and Women Rights. Now, before I let uh, my colleague start the questions, let me introduce him first. We have Mr. Swaminathan who is going to take the questions. And I will be there to take questions from you people. So we are accepting live comments today also. Please make sure that you comment whatever questions you have, whatever doubts you have. You can comment it I'll, and I'll make sure that I'll pass all your questions to our guest today. Now before we start, uh, let me ask Mr. Ongpai about your organization. Can you please tell us, tell our viewers yeah. especially. Yeah. Uh, hi everyone and uh, thank you 24, uh, 24 into 7 Dimapur for inviting me here. Um, uh, I, I'm, I'm very shocked when uh, he said I'm a superhero, but <laughs> I don't, uh, I don't, you know, like accept my, myself as superhero. But anyway, uh, I'm Jenpur Rongmai and uh, I'm born in Dimapur, brought up in Dimapur. Um, uh, I stay with my parents, with my siblings. And so the Kenyut actually started uh, with a very small, you know, group of people with the name of Youngs Club. And uh, I started this in memory of my brother who lost his life due to drugs. Um, I drop out from school, my brother drop out from school and the situation in my family, you know, uh, leads me into a different way. And, uh, but I took these challenges as an opportunity and also to, you know, uh, see the situation in my brother's life. I came with a purpose that if my brother is happening with this situation, there will be a lot of young people who will be facing this kind of discrimination and same problems. And that's the reason the Can Youth actually born in the year 2010. And since the journey actually started from there. So basically, we work on a four thematic areas. There is health, education, skill building and livelihood. Uh, we work in the government schools, especially uh, to enhance the quality education and child rights. We work with adolescents on three thematic areas, leadership, mental health, and substance abuse. We work with dropout youths and women, especially on leadership and livelihood. And we work also to support uh, children who are from underprivileged family to continue their education. And that's in a very short that Can you is doing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's really great. Okay, now I give time to Mr. Swami. Yes, like, hello viewers of Dimapur 24 seven. This is Swami Nathan. And like, we are happy to connect with you once again. And today, like, we are going to know more about the this Ken Youth organization, how they are like promoting our like youth generations. Like, there are so many organizations who are promoting the childrens and like uh, the senior citizens. But still, like we are, we also have a uh, organization or association which is like connected with the youths. So let us like begin with our like talk show. So like, uh, sir, like uh, the first <coughs> question is like uh, you like along with your organization, you went to different districts and like you spread the awareness about COVID-19. So like mm. uh, what kind of like tasks you like took over and what kind of difficulties you faced during this uh, awareness programs? Mm. Like mm. because like nothing is easy. Mm. And mm. as we know mm. in pandemic, like most of us, we are like we were in the initial stage, not mm. now, but in the mm. initial stage, we were all scared mm. to come mm. out of the house. So mm. how did you like face that situation? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we all know that uh, COVID, you know, like it, it was a very shock for every one of yes. us. Like it came, like you know, like like film interval. Yes. You know, when we're watching film and we don't know where the yeah. film will be interval. Like it was like that, and you know, uh, we were actually not ready to you know um, work on the actually COVID during the COVID. So our office was closed, and we were our you know working in our own you know home. But uh, something came in our mind that you know uh, we came through social media, we came through our own uh, you know people whom we are working. They call us and they, they told us that we are more concerned about our health. Okay. We are more concerned about your, our mind. We are more concerned about our children's future mm. rather than virus. Okay. And then we found that uh, Dimapur as a you know, city, there's a lot of migrant workers who are actually the victims. You know, 
uh, forget about the treatments. Mm. They, they are not even uh, getting enough food yeah. to eat. And, and the young children who are actually, that their time is to play, come out and play yes. and hang out. But they were kept in a home and they were actually having some pressure stress. Yes. So that actually we thought that and we said that, okay, uh, we cannot do it in a very big way, yes. but let's do it in a very small way. Mm. And we reach out to our partners in Delhi, in, in Assam, in Kolkata. And there's a lot of organizations who help us, like for example, Bosco Institute Jorhat, okay. you know, a community youth collective in Delhi, Kuchina Foundation in Kolkata, mm. and Gunch also, there's another organization. Okay. And there are a lot of individuals who actually came and then we started, we have reached about more than uh, over 2,000 uh, household okay. in terms of, uh, uh, you know, providing relief. Mm. And then we realized that only relief will not work. Yes. We have to do uh, some kind of activities with the children. Mm -hmm. and then we came up with the idea of pictorial awareness mm -hmm. kind of image, where we do kind of do sessions with the children, yes. you know, maintaining social distancing in order to just facilitate them to, you know, make them happy, mm -hmm. make them feel that everything is okay, mm -hmm. you know. And then during this COVID time, we also found that most of the most of the young adolescent girls and women from from the underprivileged families they were having a problem to buy even a sanitary pets yes. and that's how we felt that everyone is delivering food 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 but i think the most important part for the women for the girls the sanitary pet was important especially for the underprivileged family and then we tie up with one of my friends from mumbai okay. she's the founder of saral designs mm -hmm. and bollywood actress kalki yes. we tie up and then we started doing this sanitary pets okay. for the especially for the women and adolescent mm -hmm. girls from the underprivileged family yes. yeah and, and 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 through this i think the most important was while we going and delivering the relief mm -hmm. the most important was a connection between these people and us yes. you know sitting together and listening to their problems and understanding them morally mm -hmm. sitting them with physically mm -hmm. so it was a very you know moment okay. i mean <laughs> tough moment and also a very emotional moment also yes. yeah so like uh like in relation with this like uh, you also distributed like the food uh, huh. yeah goods and services as well as the um, sanitizers mm. and masks and yeah. everything so yeah. like uh, the main uh, area which you covered were the uh, daily wage laborers as well yeah. as the widows yes so like yeah. um, what was the like uh, thing which like uh, inspired you to mainly cover in these two areas like mm. because like everywhere like people were like suffering mm. in the equal amount but still like mm. these two like mm. are the categories which like they don't come out easily to mm. ask for help so mm. like how did you reach to them and mm. what mm. motivated mm. you to cover this yeah. area yeah so the motivation comes uh, when we was delivering delivering uh, you know relief to the migrant workers uh see most of the migrant workers when we say migrant workers, it's mm. not only about people coming from Bihar yes. or UP, mm. even from our own district, mm. you know, from other districts coming here and doing as a labor, mm. they also as a become as a migrant workers. Yes. And these migrant workers, sadly, they don't have any connection. Mm. You know, they will get work. It's a hand to mouth only. Yes. You know, they don't have work. They will not eat. Mm. So it was a kind of, you know, a situation where they are actually lost. Mm. It's, it was a situation where they are actually stressed and also at the same time they were anger okay. so uh, and uh, and being you know like looking back my own families mm. i was also like that my father was unemployed so mm. whatever he works he brings we eat yes so uh, so it was a connection you know i can mm -hmm. feel that you know being a being a person from that same background mm -hmm. i can feel that and that was the only motivation you know i, I took up that migration mm -hmm. workers should be the first one to yeah. get help and especially the widows also mm -hmm. so when i say widows it's not only the old widows yeah, actually yeah. i'm talking about widows mm -hmm. who are actually from that background you okay, know from okay. the from yes. the underprivileged background mm -hmm. you know they 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 are they are not independent mm -hmm. they are dependent to peoples they yeah. are dependent to someone's mm -hmm. so at that moment mm -hmm. the first thing comes in your mind widows comes in your mind is mm -hmm. how to survive myself yes. and to how to survive my families mm -hmm. nothing comes in your mind yes. and i think uh, this all you know working you know ex working experience in this sector meeting with different kinds of people mm -hmm. you know actually makes me so emotion and motivation mm -hmm. not only me and my team yeah. that we actually you know wants to give first priority service to migrant workers and widows okay so like in this pandemic situation, your like uh, can your organization they also conducted a story writing as well as letter writing competition. Yeah, yeah. yeah so like yeah. mainly the participants were like uh, childrens and yeah, youth. Yeah. So like what kind of motivational like uh, stories and what kind of like mm, things they faced, which they like uh, mm. like they expressed 
as emotion in their stories and letters yeah. like and in which category like did you uh, rank them like i saw like uh, as we know like mm. uh, there were categories of even yeah. prizes so yeah. like in which categories did you distribute so, to them so um, so the yeah. so the most of the story writing company based on the experience of uh, their experience mm -hmm. during the covid yes. time and uh, some of the you know um, students children they yeah. mentioned that uh, the, the covid situation actually you know helped us to realize the mm -hmm. the struggles of my parents mm -hmm. you know before covid you know we demand and we don't even bother how my parents are mm -hmm. struggling how my parents are actually doing yes but this covid has made me realize and understand that how much my parents are struggling mm -hmm. and just silently doing their own work to to give me whatever i need yes. to make me happy mm -hmm. And I think this COVID has, you know, uh, not only make me a scary or afraid. I think mm. this COVID has made me a very close relationship with my parents. Yes. So these are the, some of the few, you know, things came up in the mm, story, mm, and mm. and we choose from that level yes. only. You know. You yeah. Know, you know. And like which which of the like which particular story like inspired you much in that in that competition? I, I think uh, <laughs> I would not mention the name yeah, yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, so okay, it's yeah. others. So I think the most of the story that the yeah, one yeah. which I said, like they, they said. Um, the most important and the most value in mm -hmm. life mm -hmm. during the hardship time is yeah. the relationship yes. you know and the relationship happens when when people come and say that can i help you yes can i give you anything which i can mm. so there are a lot of things coming up in social media to help yeah. but there are few people who come out you know and knock the door and say mm -hmm. that can i help you yes so uh, this these are the letters which i receive you know mm -hmm. they said that um there were people who came and asked mm. and that time he he that that guy realized that children realized that the value of relationship is one of the most important tools okay. no matter what comes in in, in life mm. in between so i think that actually you know motivates me and and even me also yes. because of that relationship with my brother yeah. actually i started this organization okay, yeah. okay, okay. So so like uh, uh viewers like we are expecting some questions from you for like mr jenfo as yeah so far we don't, yeah, have, so far we don't have any questions but still like i know like <laughs> many of them they will have so many questions but still like don't hesitate just like po uh, like pop up the question just uh, like comment in the comment section you just write the questions we will if you want then we will not mention the names uh, but still like just like i'm, I'm what, happy yeah. i'm happy that yes. we don't have <laughs> questions <actually. laughs> Yeah. Okay, so like uh, you also like uh, conducted a special like a project with a webinar for like uh, teachers for yeah. to build a, a strong relationship between mm. the teacher and students. Yeah. So like mm, as the pandemic started, like the teacher and students mostly like they mm. had a lot of difficulties in like suddenly mm. coping up with the ha, online ha, classes. Ha. So like what kind of like s uh, strategies did you use yeah, so yeah, to build the yeah, relationship? Yeah. Yeah. So our 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 method was very simple, you know. <laughs> Everyone knows. I, I mean, some of the viewers are from also teachers. Mm -hmm. Might be from teachers. Might be from students. Yes. We all know this pandemic has actually, you know, um, shook the entire world yes. and entire systems. Yes. Let's say, for example, for the education. Mm. So teachers are somewhere and students yes. are somewhere, <coughs> and sometimes they comes only in online. Yes. And they only talk about the subjects, mm. about the books. Mm. So, but our was like, you know, just to just to bring the teachers. Yeah. And to just tell them not only about the subjects, mm -hmm. but also tell them about the how you know mm. uh, to to have a very good relationship with the students, yes. with the children. Mm. And I think, <coughs> like I said, I'm a, like mm -hmm. I said again, relationship makes me makes people better. Yes. So that's uh, that was our small idea only. Mm -hmm. That's not a very big idea, but it was a very small idea yes. with our full focus mm. that the teacher has to start build their relationship with the students, yes. so the students can come forward. Mm. So that was the only idea. It was that simple idea. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's great. And yeah. like uh, you also like uh, used to conduct webinar sections for like uh, spreading the awareness of puberty. Huh. Like because like in that particular stage, like the children they used to go through many like mental stress, mm. physical mm. stress, as well as like the social society, mm. the way they look at the children. Mm -hmm. Like till now, every society they used to look as a child, uh, like the particular child as a child. But mm. as soon as they attain the p stage of puberty, mm. the mm. society's like viewpoint used to change. Mm. So like, what kind of webinar sessions did you took, and what kind of changes did you saw in that particular yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. area? So uh, we all know that adolescence is uh, very vulnerable to everything. Yes. Let it be negative, mm. let it be positive, let it be good or bad. Yes. And uh, we have a project of adolescence. Mm. So basically, we uh, through our involvement with adolescents, we found that a lot of adolescents doesn't know the importance of their body. Yes. Doesn't know how actually it's a meaningful of mm. their body. Sometimes the misuse of their body, mm. you know. So that's the only way we want to spread the message to them that your body is a temple. Mm -hmm. You know, your body is a very important. Mm. You know? 
it's not only showing your body, mm. but it's also how to utilize your body, mm. you know, as an adolescent, as a, as a people, as yes. a citizen. So this was a very simple matter and we brought a pe resource person who are experts in this, yes. you know, um, in, on the topics. The topics yeah. Yeah, so that was a very simple, you know, message to them, mm. but it's a simple, but it was a very important. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It was so that like, uh, in the schools also, like, yeah. like they're they they teach so many topics, but mm. still they don't cover up this particular like mm. puberty section. Yeah. In 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 foreign countries, we used to have mm. like so mm. many classes about mm. this. Even mm. they used to conduct that prom night. Yeah, yeah. So from there, like the people used to understand and they yeah. used to know about the importance yeah. of these teachers. Exactly. But still, like in India and especially yeah. like over here, yeah, like yeah. we are so much restricted to this topic. So mm. what do you want to say to the people? Like, mm. Mm. do we like if if until and unless we realize about this topic, mm. we will not understand mm. the importance and disadvantages mm. of this mm. thing. Mm. So what do you want to advise to the society? Uh, yeah. I, I think uh, I yeah. think uh, I w I'm not the right person to advise yeah, to the but people. Like but yeah, yeah, but I yes. just want to say based on my own experience yeah. that um, our society is, uh, you know, like we are controlled by someone's mind. Mm. We don't follow our own mind, you know, and we have a very less space where young people can come and talk about these mm. issues. If you go to the, you know, our society have created in a such way that you can talk good things in front of the people, but you can't talk bad things in front of the people. Yes. When you talk only good things, people will not know about what is the bad things. Mm. When you start talking about good, bad things, then you will come to know that there is also good things, you know. So I think uh, our society has to create a space for people for this kind of topic mm. sex education we don't talk about this yes. you know sex education is boring it's not against the god it's just that we need to know mm. what is sex education we don't talk about mantle you know we don't we don't talk about actually this yes so i think um, our leader has to work on this oh. because we believe in our leaders that the leader should not be only for the population. The leader is standing and in front of yes. his backside, there are 5,000 leaders. We don't need that kind of leader. We need mm. leader who sit with us, who talk about these issues, mm. who understand us, yes. who can feel us, mm. and who create a space to bring all the people together and share their express. Yes. So I think um, I would like to request from this, uh, you know, from this show uh, to all the educators, to, the, all the, to the, all the youth leaders, to all the social entrepreneurs, that kindly create your own space within your family yes. to your brothers and sisters and let them talk you also talk about the sex education about the issues which is actually going on let's not control our mind by peoples let's control our mo own mind yeah. Yeah. so like uh, one of the brother Mugaho Su, yeah Mugato Su, Mugato he told like brother Jempo like on fire as well as, as always, always. Yeah. yeah so thank you and like as like uh, your organization like they are even doing a lot of workshops on child rights yeah so like yeah. what kind of like uh, awareness programs or like what kind of child rights you are mainly covering the mm. in that area yeah, yeah. so our, m our mostly uh, child rights mm. actually the first thing we are also starting with child parliament yeah. and in the in the child rights we actually talks about you know the code of conduct okay. you know like you know like the, how the child should yeah. know mm. when someone is actually abusing them okay. you know there are su certain things in mm. the act also mm. you know the child should know that when she the child should not mm. go to the stranger yes. you know the child can ask their parents mm. for healthy food also yes. you know so these are the small small things because we don't want to uh, come up with this kind of egg mm. you know with so many uh, huge topics and put it in the child minds yes. we just want to we are working on the when we say child mm -hmm. we are working on small small, small things yeah. like to make them awareness mm -hmm. that their child rights is most important yes so these are the small things but later on we will come up in a different mm -hmm. way also mm -hmm. yeah okay so yeah. like in the uh, like which which categories of the ages you are mostly like uh, yeah. preferring for this activity uh, so we are mostly working with uh, in the adolescent project mm -hmm. we work till 19 age of years okay, okay. but especially on the child rights we mostly work in the class five six seven okay, eight okay, students okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah okay so like even uh, like as you said like the about the uh, distribution of the sanitary pads like mm. uh, in like our society mainly over here like people like we used to like it is harsh to say but still like we used to get uh, distribution of free like uh, condoms everywhere mm, mm. but still, like if we distribute free sanitary pet the views are like a bit awkward mm -hmm. and the like uh, way of people talking like 
what kind of things they are giving na like mm. so rom nine ke like mm. it can distribute mm. so this kind of things mm. we used to face in the society mm. so like what do you want to say like uh, is the, is the sen- distributing of the sanitary pad much worse than distributing a free condom mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. what is your view on this so my view is that um the society happens from home first yes not from the family first mm. and i think mohan you know like yeah. uh, mohan has situation side issue really mm. i think we are lacking of parental guidance on these issues yes. you know mm. because the mother itself sh- she yes. went through this mm, mm, mm. you know she went through this in her in her young age time in her middle time so the mother has to talk about these issues to her not only to her daughter but even to her son mm, yes which is most important because this period is a part of her life mm. i mean it's happening yes. with the people there's not nothing wrong so mm. i think since the society begins from the home mm. i think these things topics should come up from the home mm. and the most important thing is the parent should take the lead Yes. to discuss this issue at the home yes yeah if you can pray together when eating food mm. i think you can also talk these issues yes. when you eat food mm. yeah. yeah like yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. do you face any problem like while going to distribute the sanitary pads mm. uh, so far no i mean uh, sometimes you know like young girls hesitate to come and yes um, mm. take, take yeah. yeah but because and but you know many times mm. we don't react on this okay. you know we try to do that everything is okay yes. you know you know so we try to you know do that you know yeah. like everything is okay so we don't react yes. so that's how we build your confidence okay yeah. yeah that's a great thing yeah, yeah. so yeah so like uh, as apart from this all activities you are also like uh, an organization which is much concerned in like environment hmm. like uh, the like you are like against the use of plastic and hmm. because of which you are promoting the use yeah. of like uh, paper bag okay. hmm. and even in various districts like we can uh, see as in your like uh, as viewers also you can like visit their page the hmm. can youth organization so like you, there you can see that in they went in various organ- uh, like districts and they are teaching the people how to like hmm. make the hmm. paper bags yeah. to utilize more of the paper hmm. bag so that the environment hmm. will be healthy yeah. so like what is your experience and what motivated you to start this thing because yeah. people usually they go for the easy task yeah, yeah. so like what made you to think about this particular yeah. thing yeah. it's a good question yeah mm. so actually environment is not part of my cup of tea okay and <laughs> environment is not a work of our organization okay okay but you know like uh, i got a privilege to attend mm. a youth summit indian himalayan mountain youth summit mm. uh, once in a kohima and once in a aizol mm. and that moment actually you know like shocked me i mean like our environment was dying there was a lot of you know like you all we all on global warming yes. and it's the human who are actually you know uh, contributing this problems mm. so with all this and then i feel that as a citizen yes as a, as a creature of this environment as a creature of this nature yes. it is also our duty to mm. you know give our service to make a new environment yes. green, uh, green environment mm. clean environment mm. so Uh, it was just a kind of emotion things actually you know make us to start with this paper and then okay. we we got trained from one of my friends from Golagat mm. he's a trainer okay. and then we started you know like we started giving training to papers and our first uh, our first thought was mm. not to do it in a business level but okay. just to impart training and these mm-hmm. people can make their own paper and they can mm-hmm. make they, they can use it on their own way yeah. so that was our actually idea okay. and then we train you know self help groups mm. some women and then this you know and then we found that these shallow group women mm-hmm. are actually doing a livelihood also okay. through the paper through this, yeah. and then we said okay that's very good so yeah. it's a two things mm-hmm. making environment safe and yeah. also you know making your own livelihood yes. and then we started you mm-hmm. know doing that and uh, at the end i mean like i don't know whether the results is good or bad yeah. but at the end it depends on all the people yes. the citizens of our mm-hmm. nagaland and dimapur okay. whether to take these issues yeah. <laughs> as a serious or not depends yes. on the people yeah. So like uh, which 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 districts have you like covered till now in this particular project uh, for this paper yeah paper yeah um we have trained in uh, in mon mm. and yeah mon dimapur and dimapur we already covered everything new land okay mezifu uh, map kuboto mm-hmm. and almost all we covered chumukidima okay. mon also and kifri uh, we did it in kifri but not through our organization but Uh, one of our board member mm. he actually went and trained uh, there in Kifri okay. yeah so so far we're supposed to do in Twingsang also yeah. 
but this uh, COVID situation, you know, mm. came and then yes. we could not go there in Tingsan. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, are you targeting only the housewives for this project, like this kind of workshops, or anyone? For the paper bags? Yes. yes. Paper bags. Anyone, but okay. mostly turn up, you know, women's yeah, turn ups. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. So, like, yeah. as we are like ending to our talk show, like <coughs> as viewers, I think they don't have any questions to put up. Actually, today, I think, yeah. Uh, today, I think the viewers they would like to listen carefully. Yeah, listen what carefully. You're yes. Today, <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so like uh, uh like uh, from my side yeah. the last question i want to put up is that uh you were invited like uh from the bbc world's uh, service radio mm. for the interview in mumbai yeah. like with uh, the actress kalki yeah. and according to this like uh, thing like you are the first naga host like uh, mm. to be invited over there yeah, yeah. so like uh, <coughs> in which like achievement did they like noticed you and they invited you and in mm. which particular topic did they uh, talk with mm. you and yeah. like how was your experience like mm -hmm. moving from a small state mm -hmm. to a big like yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. place to represent our nagas yeah. yeah how was that experience um my experience was full of blonde i yeah. mean like um i mean like <laughs> meeting bollywood actors is not a i mean yeah, like, some thing, i mean like yeah. <laughs> though i'm reacting that everything is fine but yeah. at least inside i'm very excitement and happy yeah. and um, so the BBC they have a sh they have a show they have a series mm. called My Indian Life. Okay. So in that my in that series they identified you know 10 to 15 young people from across the India okay. who started a social enterprise mm. uh, based on their own struggling journey. Okay. You know like 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 maybe they found me you know like I started this j journey. Yes. Uh, my brother you know like Lois, mm -hmm. I'm the son of a victims yeah. you know domestic violence. Mm -hmm. My mom actually faced the domestic violence. Okay. And you know, so we we are in the situation, of, mm -hmm. and then despite of these challenges, yeah. uh, I didn't give up. You know, I just make these uh, uh, challenges into fire. Mm -hmm. So maybe the the reason they actually found me to be yeah. well enough to be suited in the Mindian Express series. Okay. So that's why they they invited me, and um, I was happy. I'm, not, I'm happy. I was happy, and I and, and I and I hope that you know, a lot of our Naga young leaders yeah. will join this BBC, and not only BBC. Mm -hmm lot of opportunities yes yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay yeah. so that was actually not uh, just interesting yeah uh, this experience i guess i think that is that is actually an achievement mm. for uh, naga you to go yes. from here mm. in such a show and discuss about these things mm. okay uh sir swami Nathan, you're done with the questions yes, mm. okay i have one last question like yesterday i was just checking your page mm. the can youth page mm. and i saw about the uh, you were conducting one workshop about the local women vendors yeah can yeah. you please share something about that yeah what yeah. was the program about what mm. was the outcome yeah so um we have a project called a tree e space okay uh, so the three E means like one E is employability, entrepreneurship, and educating. Okay. So under that project, um, we have a you know two project. One is youth support group. So youth support. I'll come to Bender later on. So okay. let me just okay. say youth support yeah. group. So youth support group. We started you know uh, these, uh, with the, with the thoughts of to improve the income generation activity mm. of those dropout youths, mm. unemployed youth, okay. and those youth who have returned from the mainland cities mm -hmm. losing their do jobs, jobs this, yeah. uh, because of this corona mm -hmm. so we, we came up with this youth support group we formed this youth support group together and we trained them on you know livelihood okay. financial management mm -hmm. and income generation then we provide seed money mm -hmm. and we provide seed money and then from the seed money they start their business mm -hmm. so let me tell you just give me a one uh, i'll just give you one example mm -hmm. one youth support group from uh, from chumugidama mm -hmm. they have started a business uh, with poultry farming Okay. And another youth support group in Darogazan village. Mm. They have started fast food mm. and the silk worm, no? silk yes, worm. Yes, yeah. Yes. So, they, so this is an example of youth support. Okay. So women bander actually we started because we found a lot of uh, our, especially our local women bander, mm. they actually do this uh, business just for hand to mouth. Okay. Yes. And a lot of actually women bander came out during this coronavirus. Mm. Though it's not their profession, mm. they have to mm. come in the street. Yes. And they do hand to mouth. Mm. They have. They don't have any idea of sustainability. Mm. Mm. So we and then when we started, you know, working, we found that no one of those banders they don't have a bank account. Mm. We want to help them to in opening their bank account and to understand the value of saving the money okay. for sustain their life and their family. Okay. So that's that, that's how we are facilitating them mm -hmm. to to know the values of sustainability okay. and also to know the understands of business prospects. Okay. So and we are also empowering that bander woman bander has a lot of right. If they are empowered, mm -hmm. they can empower the society. Yes. Yeah. So we are helping them to open their bank account. 
we're helping them to linkage with some of the institutions to for the eco support systems mm -hmm. to develop their business uh, that's how that, that that's the reason we are working yeah. with them okay, yeah. okay uh, one last question again yeah, sure. i yeah. can't stop myself yeah mm -hmm. Uh, Sir Swami, you please uh, check the comments. I'll yeah, just sure. ask one last mm. question mm. from the side of viewers, actually. Yeah. Uh, as we have seen, like you were actually, uh, especially working with the dropouts mm. and the uh, women's actually. Mm. But I think your services are available to everyone, whoever wants to come. Yeah, uh, of course. You know, like, yeah. So do we have a process like they have to come to your office and register, or they can contact you through your Facebook page? Uh, no, they can come to your office also. They can they can call us also if oh. they have any situation. We will. We are not assured that. Mm -hmm. But we'll do our best to work along with them okay. and see how we can solve together. Mm -hmm. yeah. So at the end, if you want to give some message to our viewers. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, my, my message will be, I mean, like, uh, we all are loving people, you know. Uh, we all are created by God, you know. Um, there's no race. There's no caste. At the end, we all are human beings. Yes. And we all are beautiful. And especially to the young people, to the youth, as a youth. Uh, and especially to the man folks also, you know. Nagaland, we are facing a lot of situation. Not only in Nagaland, entire India or entire world, we have so many facing crises of rights. Some are facing rights of education. Mm. Some are facing rights of children, women, yes. health rights. A lot of rights are actually we are facing crisis. At that time, at this moment, the most important thing is to empower people. Mm. And empowerment comes only when people unite. Mm -hmm. And I would like to, you know, give a message that it is very important for all people to come together, unite, to empower people and to empower us for our great society and to build a very healthier and peaceful society. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you so Thank much. you so much. So yeah. as a team Dimapu 24-7, we will look forward to work together with you so? sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, viewers, then we are ending up the show for today. Can I just say one thing? Yes, yes sure. sure. Yes, sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, one more thing. To the viewers, um, we have a very one initiative, uh, very small initiative called My Scholarship Foundation. So My Scholarship Foundation is we raise funds from the community, mm -hmm. and we support children uh, who are actually having financial crisis in India. Mm -hmm. So it's a very small initiative. So if you feel that this, you know, initiative is really meaningful to you, then please come and support us so that these children get a proper education like other children thank you so viewers just the way you people love us and support us i request you all to please contact them go through their pages check out what kind of works they are doing if you really appreciate it if you think like they are doing something good for the society then you're most welcome to help them uh, and i'm leaving you all with the promise again that we are going to bring out some more superheroes from our society very soon in the live talk shows this is Mr. Sanjay Thapa and Mr. Swaminathan signing out for today. Thank you very much. Take care.